So did you just get the new DJI Mini 2 for Christmas and you need to start getting some quality footage? Well, you're gonna need some ND filters to get that nice smooth motion blur to give you that nice sort of natural look. Now this is where Freewell have produced their ND filters and this will help you achieve that. Now I'd just like to say welcome to 2021. This is probably my first video that will be released in 2021. And I just wanna show you guys some before and afters and show you the reasons why I actually recommend you guys use some ND filters every time you fly in daylight. But before we get into this comparison, let's see what these ND filters actually are and uh, see what we actually get in the box. Now this is the Freewell All Day Pack, which consists of eight filters. They have great optical quality glass and has 16 layers of coating to help reduce fingerprints, fog, water, dust. They are ultra light design, which is really safe to use on the DJI Mini 1 and Mini 2. Now included in this pack, you actually get the ND4, the ND8, ND16, the circularizing and polarizer filter or CPL filters. You got the ND16PL, the ND32PL and the ND64PL. Now polarizing filters are actually different to hard stop ND filters. Circular polarizing filters actually offer glare reduction to, you know, reflective surfaces. So this is really important when you're filming something like water. Water. I'm going to show you a little bit of before and after when you actually film some water and also a bit of before and after why you actually want to be using these filters. So the link will be in the description below if you do want to check these filters out. I always use Freewell. I've got them actually on my regular lenses as well. I've got the variable ND filters by Freewell, uh, which is really good because it's got hard stops. These ones, I always use these on my drones. Yeah, they're just really good filters. Obviously, also my pocket filters as well. And then I've got um, the Insta 361R filter by Freewell. I've also got the uh, Osmo Action, uh, the GoPro Hero 9. So pretty much all the filters I've got are from Freewell. This design is a little bit different. They've gone back to the uh, aluminium case or metal case, whatever it's made out of. They usually have a clear plastic case, but I really, really like them. They're a solid design on your Mavic Mini 1 and Mini 2. So they are the same filters. So they will fit on the Mini 1 and Mini 2 as well. Um, it's really good. They've also got this one as well. This is the long exposure. So this is the ND1000. So if you do want to get some nice, um, smooth, sort of silky look when it comes to flowing water, this is going to be great for you as well. But anyway, this was just gonna be a really quick video just to introduce you guys to these. And if you did wanna pick these up, if you did you know, get something like this after Christmas, you're gonna need ND filters. Even if you did get the Mavic 2 Pro or the Mavic Air 2, you're gonna need ND filters as well. I do recommend shoot pretty much every time shoot with ND filters. I mean, if you can't at the moment, you're gonna to have to crank that shutter speed. You won't get smooth motion blur and it may actually look a little bit fake. It'll look too sharp and just not the same as what our human eyes are actually used to. So motion blur is really important when it comes to uh, drone shots. So let's just quickly show you how you actually put these filters on. So you can actually see that you just clip it to the back and then you just a little drop it down to the front and then it's that easy to go. It actually just sits there really nice and snug. Just gonna make sure that, you know, it actually is on properly. Uh, but other than that, it's really easy to put on. It's so intuitive. You're not gonna wreck the gimbal. And then once you put these on, you'll be away to go. You'll get some nice smooth footage. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am 
definitely keen to get back into it. I've had almost four weeks off, four week break. Uh, I definitely needed it. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on outside uh, my YouTube life, you know, my regular life. It is quite busy, but you know, I am keen to get back into it and create some awesome videos for you guys. There's tons, tons of content coming up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's get it.